So we have already seen uh, that our recorded script has uh, executed successfully, but uh, we would want to make some necessary changes to it to make it more sustainable, to make it more reusable for the future. The first thing that I would do is I would go through the steps one by one and let's identify the reusable components. So uh, from browser opening all the way till logging, I think this is a reusable, uh, you know, a set of reusable steps. Um, in order to create a reusable component out of this, uh, we can first create a reusable scenario here. So I would say, uh, right click, add a group in the reusable component. Now, groups are again a logical uh, uh, compartmentalization, so you can just uh, give it a proper name. I would say since this is a UI test, so uh, my group name is UI. If it had been an API test, I would probably name it as an API. Under this, I would add a scenario. And since this is uh, a login uh, reusable, so I would probably uh, give it a name like general. Under this, I would create a test case. A reusable is also a test case for kids. Uh, so this is also a test case on the top. Scenario one is a scenario test case one. So this is a complete test case. And general is also a scenario. And if I rename it, I'm going to rename it to login. This is also a test case. The difference between these two are, this is a reusable uh, uh, a group of steps and this is just uh, your business test case that's the difference so if I uh, go back to my test case one I would uh, all right before we create this reusable uh, let's remove these redundant clicks because uh, opening is okay then this click is not necessary so I'm just going to select this and uh, click on the delete uh, icon. I'm going to remove the click on the password as well um, because these are absolutely unnecessary. Uh, I'm going to select, uh, okay, let me save them. You see, as soon as I save, the numbering comes in order and I'm going to um, cut them. I'm going to bring it to my login reusable, which I just created. I'm going to save it and if I now drag and drop this reusable um, my test case size reduces it now says step one is execute this reusable which is uh, general and then login okay so that's uh, the login reusable that we have created um, let's see what more we can do uh, with this test case um so uh, add to cart if you remember from our previous video we have uh, you know uh, parameterized this this uh, object so now it's going to pick up this data uh, sauce labs uh, bold t-shirt but we are going to try to put this in our data sheet so that we can parameterize this a lot more for different test cases uh, but uh, let's proceed uh, okay, I see an object which has a name one. Um, this actually belongs to the cart. So if I right click and if I go to this object, um, so the way to do that is uh, always on the from the object, if you uh, select this, uh, once you select it, it becomes blue and then you do a right click and then you have the option of going to the object, going to the reusable or test data. We're going to do that later on. But as of now, go to object um, and we see that um, it has a link text of one and it has a relative X path of one. Um, these are... Uh, uh, these are uh, set as one because there was just one object that was added to the cart. So in my opinion, this is not a reliable um, identifier. Uh, so I would not be keeping this here. So I would just delete them. Uh, I would just delete the relative X path and the link text. I see the class as shopping link, a uh, shopping cart link, which is okay. It looks 
perfectly okay we're going to keep it as is we're going to run it again if it fails then we are going to create a, a new xpath for us or we're going to find a different attribute okay now one is also not a good name so i'm going to press uh, select one and press f2 to rename it so this would be cart icon so this is more legible this is more logical we have a cart icon and then um, sauce labs bold t-shirt this is an assertion that we had created uh, so we're going to leave it as is uh, this one would should ideally be um, also parameterized because every time we are not going to add sauce lab bold t-shirt we are going to add the fleece jacket we are going to add uh, some other product so this one should also be uh, parameterized we are going to parameterize this a little later let's just uh, move forward and see what else we need to do so uh, add to cart all the way till uh, going inside the cart and then doing a checkout i think this is another logical grouping so i'm going to create another scenario called uh, let's say add items um, or maybe add items is a good test case name so i'm going to just name it as um, shopping as a scenario and then I'm going to add it uh, you know add a test case called add items and then copy these steps no I could also copy checkout go to this reusable so this is a logical group add items we click on the appropriate add to cart corresponding to the item we want to add uh, then we go to the cart i uh, click on the cart icon we go inside it and we then validate whether the element uh, is successfully displayed or not and then we click on checkout um, now in the test case we replace all those steps with um, add items just drag and drop okay now um, these are the checkout activities or rather the data for the checkout so um, we don't need the click so remove the click from the first name last name and the postal code uh, so we're going to remove these by just selecting them and clicking on the remove button um, okay so i'm going to create another reusable um, checkout details and uh, if i go back to the test case first name last name zip code and clicking on continue so cut and come back to the checkout details reusable that we just created paste it save it go back to your test case and bring it to the main test case by dragging and dropping and finally uh, we are uh, we are going to uh, validate uh, whether the amount is okay we are going to finish it we are going to validate whether the um, the success message is displayed or not and uh, yeah so line number six and line number eight are the two success messages that we want to uh, you know validate line number seven is a redundant click we don't need it so we're going to remove it uh, line number four uh, is actually the total so i'm going to right click on this and uh, go to object so this is a total uh, at the time of recording it it captured the uh, the text uh, that was 17.27 dollars for the bold t-shirt 
but um, for different components it will change so the relative x path is something that is unreliable uh, in this case so we are not going to use it however even if we do not remove it uh, it is still okay the tool will identify it based on the expert or the class or the CSS so I think we, we can leave it as is but the relative expert because we know it's not going to match so we're just going to delete it um, and we are going to rename uh, this uh, this element as um, total price I think that's a logical name and then um, finish and then thank you uh, message if we go to this object I think we can also rename this to something like um, success uh, message because later on uh, based on your requirement this message can change right so I'm going to rename it to success message so this looks uh, much better uh, this is success message one. Um, this is success message one. And check out complete. This is another success message. So go to object and I'm going to rename it to success message two. Message two. All right. So we have two success messages that we are going to assert. Uh, we are going to also assert the total price and um, then click on finish and then the two success messages. So these four steps uh, will probably come into another reusable. I'm going to create a reusable called, um, let's say, finalize. Yeah, go to my test case, copy these, rather cut these and paste it in the reusable that I just created and now drag and drop so what we did is we created a logical grouping of our test cases of our test case basically uh, we created some logical uh, grouping of test steps now what this does is if I create a new test case TC2 uh, I don't need to re-record the flow anymore I know what would be my flow so I'm just going to drag and drop uh, the reusable components I'm going to say hey first we do a login then we do mm, uh, then we add the items then we check out uh, fill in the checkout details and then we finalize so that's the flow uh, that i have created now i can run test case 2 by just simply changing uh, the data and that is what we are going to learn now how to how to change the data that we have right now hard coded in our scripts